The practice of burning wood has been around for centuries, mostly used for outdoor siding and for protection, but nowadays we can use it to make some beautiful and interesting woodwork. So, step one, find a bunch of wood. I found a bunch of this just old wood that needed to be recycled anyways, not really good for anything else, so we can use it to burn. Now, the fun part. We get to burn the wood. Just use a regular propane torch, light it up, slowly go back and forth till you get a nice dark deep color, whatever you want. And I like to go until it kind of gets to the look of alligator skin, where it starts to crackle just a little. And but before it gets that white coal texture to it. Just enough that there's the surface is burned. Traditionally wire brush was used to scrape off all of the charred surface and get to the grain texture underneath but it kind of sucks doing this. It's messy and if you have a lot of boards yeah, that could take a while. So instead, we use technology and the easy way. Pressure wash. Just go back and forth real quick. Don't try to soak the boards, but just, as you can see, it just comes right off. It looks nice. It's easy and clean. When you're done, you just kind of give it a once over so that all of the dirt or anything you might have kicked up slides right off, leave it out to dry. Okay, after the boards have dried, they've kind of got this nice coppery sheen to them. It's really pretty, I like it. The wife loves it. It's going on my ceiling. So here's a look at the same wood using different techniques to get a different texture. First we have the wire brush on pine. Then we have a pine sanded, and also how it looks with the pressure washer. Kind of a different look, it's kind of cool. So I figured I'd use some other wood also to see what happens. Next we have oak. It's wire brushed, sanded, and then pressure washed. Really doesn't have a whole lot of difference to it. It kind of looks about the same not as drastic. Next up, this one was really kind of cool. The cedar with the brush, sanding, and the pressure washer. Pressure washer kind of leaves more of a, I don't want to say glittery, but it's kind of glittery look to it. Metal, metallic. It looks pretty cool. I like it. And then finally, I just did another hardwood, some maple. Kind of the same as the oak, only it does show a little bit more texture variations. And it's kind of cool. You guys play around with it, see what you like, what you don't like on a small sample, and then just do the rest in it. So you can see it's very easy to create this wood for whatever project you might have. If you have any questions on the process or maybe if you pick up some tips and tricks for yourself that you would like to share, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep building something beautiful.